Hello Zimbabwe, hello South Africa, hello everyone around the world. So we have this job. This is coming from another computer repair shop. This is a motherboard. Some kind of Lenovo, but I'm not sure which model of, of Lenovo is this one. Uh, based on the writing here, the battery is written Lenovo. We have the battery, we have the motherboard. Uh, According to the explanation, this is a dead motherboard. There's no light, no charging light, no anything. So we have to fix this. We have to fix this. So we need to connect this to the power supply. We need to connect this to the power supply. Power supply connected is taking 3 milliamps, 2 milliamps. And uh, there's no light, there's no anything. It's just a dead motherboard. So, you know how we are fixing dead laptop motherboards. We have to check if we have 19 volts, uh, if we have 3.3. On the charging port, I believe this is the plus, and we do have 19.65. 19.65. Uh, I can't see most face, maybe they are on the other side of the motherboard here. But here we have some ceramic capacitors which are connected on the 19 volts power line. Uh, zero. Here. Zero. Here we have some capacitors again. Zero. So all these capacitors, they don't have voltage. So clearly the 19 volts power line is missing. So diode mode. Let's check those capacitors for short. No, the capacitors are not shorted. Let's disconnect the battery. What do we have on the other side? Yeah, we have the MOSFETs. You can see those MOSFETs. The bigger one, second, and the current sensor. Let's check again for voltage. On the charging port 19, on the input of the wave, an inductor here. We do have 19 on the input of the the first MOSFET. We do have 19.65 on the output. We have zero. The output of the first MOSFET we have zero. So this bigger MOSFET is not driving the the 19 volts. Why? Why drain to source not shorted? We have the second MOSFET drain to source. You see, there we have a problem. So the first MOSFET is not driving 19 volts because we have a shorted second MOSFET. Let's go on a microscope so that we'll see what I'm seeing together. So let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. On a microscope, we have the input section. This is the input section. Let's check on a microscope one more time. We do have the charging port here. This is the plus, and the plus is not is not going to ground. It's going through this inductor. Zero. Zero. And to this four MOSFETs. And to this MOSFET. This MOSFET. You can see this MOSFET. Good.
here this is the first MOSFET four pins and all the output is coming to this MOSFET and from here through this jumper to the current sensor to this current sensor current sensor to ground is not shorted uh, what we can do you can see 11 volts the main 19 volts power line is working with 19 volts but just to confirm that the main 19 volts power line is not shorted I will supply 11 volts on the current sensor and it's taking 4 milliamps so it means we don't have a short on the main 90 volts power line now let's check this MOSFET together source to drain is gone so the second MOSFET is the problem it's not driving the power This is our problem. We don't know if we have another problem, but so far, that is the only problem that you see why we don't have 19 volts. The MOSFET is out. I want to check straight on the MOSFET. Let's check straight on the MOSFET. Drain to source. You see? This MOSFET is shorted. That is the reason why we don't have we don't have 19 volts on the main 19 volts power line I'll look for another MOSFET I'll look for another MOSFET That's our, our MOSFET. This is just channel in MOSFET. Good. Our MOSFET is now in place. Our MOSFET is now in place. Drain to source. Get to ground is not shorted. Here. Yeah. Get is not shorted. Four pins together, that's the drain. Three pins. What? Is this a shorted MOSFET?
No, the MOSFET is good. The MOSFET is good. So let's see now. Let's see now. Let's see now what what this motherboard is doing. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. So let's plug in the battery. Uh, let's plug in the the char the power supply. See flashing light. Check there. We have a flashing charging light. And it's taking 500, 600. And we have another light here. Here. So the board just started. Because there's no BIOS battery here. It here, this connector is meant to have like CMOS battery. And there's no CMOS battery. So the motherboard just started. Huh? Uh, yeah, that was an easy repair. So let's check some voltage on the last pin of the BIOS. 1.8. This is a 1.8 volts BIOS chip. Yeah, this BIOS chip is working with 1.8 volts, not 3.3. We have some coils here. We have 0 0.7 here. 0 0.8 for the processor. We have 7 volts. Uh, 7.23 and the voltage is increasing. This is the circuit to charge the battery. So, if I check on the plus of the battery, we have 7.22 and the voltage is increasing. You can see the voltage is increasing. That means the battery is charging. Now 7.24. 7.25 the voltage is increasing the battery is charging here we have a 3.29 on this coil we have 5 volts so the board is just started it's on we have the charging sign which is flashing here uh, i understand the reason why we have 600 656 milliamps because the battery is still below the minimum charge as soon as the battery reach the minimum charge the voltage will, the the current will increase to one point something or two point something amps so now how do we test about the display how we can test about the display huh uh what can I do here? Let me increase the size of this webcam like this. If you check on my back, here we have a TV. This is a 32 inch TV screen, which is already on. So, what we want to do, we want to connect this motherboard here just to see if we can see something there. We want to connect this motherboard. It's very easy. Pay attention on this screen which is at the back. I'll plug in the power supply. And the motherboard is just on. Uh, let's see. Do you have anything now taking 700? Uh, 700. And we have something on the screen. Check here. Check on the screen. It's trying to detect hard drive. Because we reset the BIOS media. There's a media here. Checking media. It's trying to detect hard drive because the hard drive is not there. Now we have something. <laughs> Default boot device missing or a boot failure. Insert the recovery media and hit any key. So it's working. Huh? We have picture. You see the picture? 
We have a working motherboard. We have a working motherboard. So that was the story with this one. That was the story with this one. I wonder why people they don't want to learn. Well, this is job from another uh, computer repair shop. And I made so many videos. If the first MOSFET is not driving 19 volts, there are so many reasons which can cause that. And I made so many videos. If the first MOSFET is not driving 19 volts, check the second MOSFET. The second MOSFET in most cases is shorted. From drain to source, not from from uh, not from uh, from the main 19 volts power line to ground. It will be shorted from drain to source. And because of that, uh, the, the, the input MOSFETs, they are communicating with the BQ chip. Uh, if anything is wrong, the first MOSFET is cutting down the power. Just to prevent any damage on the motherboard. So, yeah, the job is done. I thought people, they will learn something. I'm posting every day. People, they don't want to learn. They will come, they will still come with their fault devices. They don't want to go on channel. You learn, you do it by, own, by yourself. That's the idea of this channel. Just to let everyone know for free. So that some of the things which are meant to, to be done, maybe you can do it your own and save money. So like, subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. Also, like, share our videos to your beloved friends and relatives. And see you on the next game. Bye.